Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to drive a manual car. So we're going to start off by starting up the car, then I'll show you how to start driving in first gear, and then I'll show you how to switch into all of the further gears. So we'll start, um, we'll start by starting the car. So I'm going to alternate um, between, you know, the full view of this area with the shifter and then um, my sort of handheld camera that I'm using with my feet showing the different pedals and the dash and so forth. So let's get right to it. We're going to start the car. To start the car, you are going to push the clutch down. Now the clutch is the uh, pedal all the way on the left. It's this one right here. So I'm going to push the clutch down, and also with my left foot I'm pushing the clutch down, and I'm going to press, um, press on the brake with my right foot. Once I have those two things done, I'm going to simply turn the key in the ignition and start the car. Okay, now I have not moved my feet yet. So the next step is to put the car in neutral so I can take my foot off of the clutch. So um, if you take a look at the gear selector over here, right now it's in second gear. Now we're, we are going to have to place it in neutral, which means to take the gear selector and put it towards the middle and to ensure that it is in neutral, you, you, if you can move it back and forth like this, then that means that the car is in neutral and that means that I can take my foot off of the clutch. Okay, now also because the e-brake has been uh, pulled up, I can also take my foot off of the brake. <clears throat> now, um, we're ready to start in first gear. So we're going to start driving in first gear. The first step is to um, place my foot on the brake and then um, release the e-brake. So now uh, my foot on the brake is preventing the car from rolling forward or backwards. Now the next step is to take my left foot and press the clutch in all the way. Now because the clutch has been pressed in, I can move my gear selector, my shift knob. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it in first gear. Now with, with this specific car, this is a 2009 Honda Civic Si, I can, uh, to put it in first gear I have to go all the way to the left and up, just like that. And now I'm in first gear, but if you're driving a different car, your first gear might be in a different location. So just to recap, we have the clutch pedal pressed in, we are have our right foot pressing the brake, and then we've placed our gear selector in first gear. Now we're going to start the car, we're going to start rolling. <clears throat> so the next step is to um, get the RPM so I can take my foot, as long as I'm on a flat surface, I can take my foot off of the brake and get the RPM um, at about 1500 just like that and then I can slowly but surely release the clutch very slowly just like that and then once the clutch has been released I can press the brake so I'm going to show you that again just um, in a little bit sort of slower um, more explanational way so once again I'm going to take my foot off of the brake just like that press the gas and allow it to hover at about 1500 rpm uh, let's get it back down 1500 then I'm slowly, as I do not move my gas pedal, I'm staying at 1500, I am slowly releasing the clutch pedal. Very slowly, as you can see in my foot right here. Very slowly. And you will feel the car catch, and then you can release the clutch pedal all the way. It's that simple. Now to brake, I'm going to push the clutch in and push the brake. Alright, now we are going to um, explain, we're going to take a look at how to shift through other gears as you are driving. So we've gone over how to go and start the car in first gear. Now we're going to go over how to go into second gear and third gear and fourth gear and so forth. Alright, so we're going to start rolling again. Clutch goes in with the left foot, gear selector goes into first gear, take my foot off the brake, push the gas and bring the car to about 1500 RPMs, just like that, and then slowly release the clutch pedal. Just like that. And now we're rolling. And now when we're ready to shift into um, another gear, and the RPMs are completely different for each car, but for this car I like to switch at about 3,500 to 4,000. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press the clutch in and take my foot off the gas, just like that. Take my gear selector, put it into second gear, and then push the gas just a little bit and release the clutch slowly again. Just like that. 
Now we're rolling in second gear. I'm gonna bring the car up to um, my third gear ratio, I guess, my third gear area, which is three and a half thousand to four thousand RPMs again. And I'm just going around the curve, so just give me another few seconds. So we're bringing the car up to three and a half thousand, um, four thousand RPMs. I'm going to, uh, sorry, I'm just passing another vehicle right here. I'm going to simply press the clutch in, switch into third gear with the gear selector, and push the gas very slightly and release the clutch slowly, just like that. And that, my friends, is how you drive a manual car. I've given you a pretty in-depth explanation at how it's done. And the key is to consistently and continually practice. That is the key. Um, the, especially when it comes to uh, starting off in first gear. Consistently and continually practice until you are ready to get the car rolling and practice in low to no traffic areas because you don't want to be learning how to drive a manual car when there's cars all around you. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.